There, it's Kelly from Ready Set Drone, and I have had my solo since June of 2015. 
couple months now. I've flown it a fair amount, but I just got the gimbal about a week ago. And there it is. I did a video on the installation. Uh, found a problem installing it where the cable was uh, not properly uh, coiled out of the way and it caused, caused the gimbal to go limp. And uh, I also posted a video of my first flight with it. Today I wanted to give you uh, my impressions of it after flying with it for about a week. I've probably done about five batteries on it so far and I've learned a few things about it that are interesting, good, bad, and otherwise. Uh, first of all, I will tell you that it is, uh, th that's the live view from the GoPro by the way. Um, a couple of things that I really don't like about the gimbal, number one, uh, when you start recording, there is an issue. I'll show you here. When I hit record on my iPad here, watch what happens. Oh, that time it actually uh, started pretty smoothly. Sometimes you get snow for a couple of seconds before the picture comes back. This time it seemed to be okay. So you can hear the GoPro starting and stopping when I... Oh, there. See that? See that glitch? It just takes it a second to uh, give you back the picture once you start recording. That doesn't show up on your GoPro, obviously, but it does show up on your iPad and or iPhone or whatever you're using as your um, screen. That's a little annoying. So the other big thing that I think is a negative is that uh, you can't actually do anything else with this. In other words, I thought I would be able to go in and change all of these settings, but you actually can only start and stop the GoPro. Now I contacted um, 3DR, I actually put in a trouble ticket about that, and was told they were working on that functionality. A uh, big reason that I brought, bought the 3DR was because I thought I would be able to control the GoPro and do all the different settings from the app, which I guess I will be able to eventually. But right now, all you can do is once your GoPro is on, turned on, and connected to the gimbal, you can start it recording like that. You can see the counter going there. And you can stop the recording like that, which is still better than having it run the whole time like I used to do on my Phantom 2. Anyway, uh, I want to show you some aerial footage. So there it is in the air, and there's the live shot of it in the air. You kind of see my dead grass and dead tree back there. It's been a hot summer in Texas. Finally cooling off a bit, which is nice. Uh, let's take it up a little bit and we can watch the screen. So I've got it in GPS mode, obviously. You can see I'm getting pretty high in the air. And uh, it's definitely holding pretty steady. The horizon line looks stable. I'm at uh, 119 feet right now above my house. See the sunset over that way? It's back behind me towards the east. Fly it up over me. You can see the shot on my iPad is pretty clear. It's at 119 feet. Take it up a little higher. Now I'm going to spin it around. Look back over that way. Now I want to show you how smooth the uh, I want to show you how smooth the um, uh, tilt is on this thing. So here goes the tilt. Tilting down, looking straight down at my neighbor's pool, my house. There goes that tilt again, tilting up. Very smooth tilt, which I really like, that smooth tilt. I'm going to bring it back down a little bit. So I'm bringing it back down. Fly it over towards the golf course. Kind of see how that looks. I've got it at 126 feet.
and it's a hundred, it's 200 feet away from me, and the picture is still crystal clear on my iPad. You can see here that's at 200 feet away. Take it out over the golf course a little bit more. Now there's a golf cart. Nice shot of those guys. Controller signal lost. So it is, I just lost signal, and now it's coming home automatically. Yeah, you can see those red lights blinking. And it actually did a pretty good job of honing in on where, where it was. I hope it doesn't hit this tree. There it comes down. So signal recovered. Let's see if I hit uh, fly again, if I can recover it. Hitting fly. Oh, yeah, it said fly on my screen. And it looks like I recovered it. Wow. It's kind of scary. So I was about 200 feet away when that happened. I was about 200 feet away, about 150 feet in the air, when uh, it said signal lost and the autopilot took over and it returned to home and it actually landed almost exactly where it took off from, I'd say about three feet away. So my recommendation if you're uh, flying this thing, don't take off near a tree. Get out in a big open space so that if it does have to return to home, you don't risk it flipping a tree when it comes back in. I want to show you one other thing real quick. Uh, I just want to do a little bit of uh, back and forth and show you how um, show you how it uh, responds to kind of being flown around a little bit roughly. So we're gonna take off here. Prop spinning up. There we are off the ground. Okay. I've got the, uh... So in conclusion, what do I like about the gimbal? Well, first of all, it's pretty cool looking. I definitely think it's uh, more stylish looking than the Phantom gimbal. Uh, number two, the fact that it holds a GoPro. I really wanted to stick with GoPro and not use the Phantom camera. I feel like GoPro cameras are just getting better and better. And I believe the GoPro camera is a better quality than what you're gonna get with a DJI camera at least the standard ones that come with the Phantom 2 and the Phantom 3. Um, I also really like the fact that you can start and stop the video from your app. I think it's pretty cool that you can do that, even though that's a little bit glitchy. Um, it's nice because then you don't get giant files um, like I used to get. I would run the thing for 15 minutes and have to edit that whole thing down. And it's, it's pretty stable. I mean, it's a gimbal, right? It does what a gimbal's supposed to do. It does it pretty well. Um, I had a little bit of trouble after the first install, but once I went back inside and fixed the wire, uh, everything's been working pretty well with it. Now, here's what I don't like about the gimbal. Uh, number one, <laughs> number one, that uh, twitchy stuff that happens when you start and stop it is kind of a pain. Just leave, losing that signal for a second. Didn't happen there. But sometimes you just get a bunch of snow on the screen for a couple seconds and it's a little unnerving. Uh, number two, the fact that you actually can't do anything with it aside from start and stop the camera is annoying. I thought I'd be able to change my uh, wide, medium, and narrow uh, frame rate, 1080, 4K. I thought all that stuff was going to be built in. You know, the, the advertising says that it's uh, integrated tightly with the GoPro. Uh, and so far all it does is just start and stop it. Now one other good thing about it is it does actually charge the GoPro battery while it's on there. So this little thing up here indicates a full charge. 
and that'll stay full because it's pulling power off of the gimbal, which is pretty nice. You don't have to worry about your, your GoPro battery dying, only your solo battery dying, which mine's about a third of the way left, two thirds of the way down. Um, so overall, I think it's a good thing to have with the, with the solo. I'm excited to try some of the uh, fancy stuff with it, like the cable cam and the circle, uh, rotating, the selfie, all that stuff. I'll, I'll give those things a shot and post some videos of those. Uh, I do think that the quality is going to be great because we are using a GoPro Hero 4 Black, which is a really nice camera. And I think, you know, if they can get the software to integrate a little bit better and work seamlessly with the GoPro, we'll have a real winner here. So I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you want to check out some other footage of the install of the gimbal, I've got a video for that. If you want to see my unboxing and initial thoughts on the 3DR Solo, I've got a video for that. And there's a whole bunch of other videos about other drone stuff at Ready Set Drone. So if you like this one, please subscribe. Thanks for watching and.